Welcome back to another episode of How to Art Stuff with your host, Cole Brazel. Today, I'm going to be doing another drawing. But before we get into that, I had this brilliant marketing ploy to get more subscribers. Pretty soon, I'm going to be doing a video about how to art a caricature. But instead of using one of my many friends, Instead, I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I used one of my many, many subscribers slash fans on YouTube? So in order to qualify, all you have to do is one, subscribe to me here on YouTube, two, follow me on Instagram at Peaches McGraw, and three, send me a photo on Instagram with the hashtag HowToArtStuff, and I'll choose one person to draw for the video. So without further ado, Let's, uh, let's get into the drawing. So, in order to do a drawing, you have to decide three things. What to draw, what to draw on, and what to draw with. Now, being the young, resourceful, God-fearing artist I know your parents raised you to be, finding something to draw on really shouldn't be that big of a challenge. It's paper, guys. Just find some paper. My favorite paper is the Canson XL Rough Mixed Media Paper. It's about 90 pound cold press, got a little bit of to the, forget it, it's paper. Just, draw, just find paper. Now when it comes to what to draw with, you get to be a little bit more choosy. There are lots of different things you can draw with. Markers, pens, charcoal, pencils, not so much. When I was 10 years old, I walked in on my dad doing a crossword puzzle in ink. I said, whoa, dad, what if you need to erase something? He turned, looked me dead in the eye and said, son, pencils are a tool created by the timid for the unadventurous. So check your pencils at the door along with your insecurities and commitment issues because we're making art here, baby. And there's no room for predisposed mistakes. I like to draw with microns. I use the 02 and the 005. Also, sometimes you'll see me shade with coping markers, as you'll see me do later in this drawing. Now, that brings us to the age-old question, what should I draw? There's really no good answer, but I found that most people give the cop-out answer of, oh, just, you know, go and draw. It shouldn't be what you need to draw, it should be that you're drawing. And when you draw, you'll get better, but that, it's garbage. So instead, I'll let you in on some of my favorite things to draw and things I look for when I'm doing a drawing. First, I look for intersecting planes. I want lots of different planes going lots of different ways. That way I can use my line work to clearly define different angles and directions for a drawing. Secondly, I try and draw things with high contrast. So, if I were to be drawing a city scene like this one, I'd look for a time of day where maybe the light is coming in and you get these shadows and these bright spots. A black and white drawing is solely based on value, so you have to have these shifts in value in order to have focal points and, and make something more interesting. Another thing I look for in order to make a composition more interesting is distinct middle, foreground, and background. Having different layers of depth in your drawing will make it more interesting. You can make things more important than other things just based on where they're placed in space. So if you find yourself stumped on what to draw, walk around your city and take some photos. Maybe try and stay away from the fronts of buildings and things that people would normally take pictures of and instead walk around back, maybe find a spot with trash cans and power lines and, you know, pieces of trash everywhere. That stuff is what makes an interesting drawing. So, in short, paper doesn't really matter, pencils are garbage, and if you don't know what to draw, draw trash. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure you send your most fresh selfie to hashtag uh, how to art stuff. And maybe I'll draw you in the, in the how to caricature video I do. Yeah, if I do it. See you next time.